If you've ever tried to find a movie the whole family can enjoy, I said no. you'll understand what a difficult task this can be. You ain't going off with no backwards white engine so long as I got a breath left in me. So it's with great pleasure that Showtime brings you a family film with no special effects, no fast food tie-ins and no tween superstars. The education of Little Tree. You be Little Tree. Little Tree is eight years old. He's also a full-blood Cherokee Indian. His parents die and he's sent to live with his grandparents in the country. More specifically, white grandpa and Indian grandma, who see to homeschooling Little Tree. Falcon caught the slow bird, so the slow bird won't have no babies that are slow. If it wasn't bad enough that America's white pioneers had stolen his people's land and decimated his culture, the government has plans for Little Tree which seem particularly cruel. You are unfit guardians for your grandchild. He should be removed to an environment better suited to his moral and educational upbringing. He is officially an Indian. I am? He will be sent to the notch gapped Indian school to board there until the age of 18. There have been plenty of films about the plight of the American Indians, but this is the first time it's been shown from a kid's point of view. Also, most films on this topic focus on the Wild West. The education of Little Tree has no shoot em up aspirations. Instead, it asks, what happens to the inhabitants of a culture who have been dominated out of existence? Gotcha. There's a lot of things the white man and his kids can learn from indigenous people. The education of Little Tree won't teach you all of them, but it's a good start.